Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back again everybody and we got quite a lot of fun going on up, up top side. Now we're just trying to best figure out how to deal with that um, that essential bus contactor that's up, up, up top side. It's kind of buried within that one panel that I showed you. So that's what we got going on. I'd climb up there too but uh, kind of limited room right around there so I'll be patient. Uh, in the meantime, you guys saw me holding this earlier got the shoe box of fun I have all 378 entries for the giveaway inside it so uh, gonna get crew chief Al's help later to uh, pull the winners so uh, stay tuned for that all right so we're back up top side we looked at behind panel two there so if you remember panel three is the one we had pulled out to check that diode panel two is the bigger one just forward of it Panel one is that guy right there, but yeah, we've pulled two to see what we can do to get to put power on that central bus relay. And that, there's no easy path there. So we're probably gonna put that one right back up over here. What we're gonna do is grab the meter and get you guys in there. So I'll put the arrows on the screen. Those bottom two terminals on this relay right here are are the ones that activate it. And then you got three larger ones up each side. That's where the DC comes through to go from the essential side to the the right hand side of the DC buses. So we're looking to do I'm gonna ohm out the bottom one tonight because that's the coil that pulls it together. If that's open, it's already bad. If it doesn't, then we can take those terminals off and then and then feed it AC power, make sure it closes mechanically, and then also meter all the contacts to um, and make sure it works properly before we put everything back together and uh, retest for power. So that's all we got. Well, why is that? Right, we should get the beep. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so now we find one of the grounds. So, realistically, it's any... Any piece of metal. Let's see. There's one right here. There's a ground. Good, good connection. Awesome. Find the mirror. You got good continuity there. Can you hold it on? All right. Now we can see what the ohms is. It bounces between two and fourteen. And yep. So that's the continuity. Now we're going to check for ohms. This damn mirror is just killing me. We'll hold on to something for, yeah, we'll for an annoyingly long time. Even if it's broken, it's still going to sit there for like five, ten years. We'll throw it in a bin. What we got for ohms? 0 0.4. Alright, that's probably the ground side. Yeah, that's too low. Yeah, that's probably the side that's connected to the ground. Right. <coughs> What you mean to check you need to lead? About that. Okay, then that's the ground side. Just trying to aim this mirror. So I can have a hand free. How's that? 2.2. All right, so two ohms there. How about there? One point one. You go from one terminal to X one to X two. Yeah. 
well through ground remember one side is connected straight to the ground yeah. side so that's probably the ground side that's 0.8 yeah. ohms if that's what your lead to lead resistance is then that's, that's the ground that's the coil yep definitely there's, definitely there's a coil there does it stay yeah. yep and there's not a diode involved all right so it seems like the coil side is good so why is it keep oh you're just moving you, the resistance changing because you're moving the probe yeah and it's probably you know yeah. with the amount of years it's on that screw i imagine it's not yeah. as so awesome so now <clears throat> here i'll show you guys what we got so this is the side that's hooked to ground and you can see that it's a very low resistance path now if I go to the other side, we got 2.2 ohms thereabouts to ground, and here I'm trying to eyeball that so I can, there we go. So electrically it's testing fine, so the, the actual coil that uh, it powers the electromagnet that should be pulling the contacts together it is electrically fine. Whether it's mechanically good is another story, and we gotta check for that next. How easy to get the uh, high antenna on that? Well, I just gotta pull those two ring terminals off, and then um, then we can bring a set of wires up from yeah. the bench. Yeah, let's isolate it totally from the airplane so we don't feedback. Yeah, definitely don't want to feedback. No, 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 no. All right, so the other thing we did was the, the three pairs of contacts that's on there. So the bottom two is the one I hit, that's the coil. And then there's three pairs that connect. Uh, on one side is the essential DC bus. On the other side is the right-hand DC bus. And what I did was I just connected the meter across on all three and to make sure that the contacts themselves never got welded together. So right now they're all reading open, which is good. So now we got to make up a wire harness and put power on that bottom, on those bottom two pins in order to put power to it off the bench and then to make sure it closes mechanically and then also do contact checks on the other three pairs of the DC contacts to make sure that the, um, make sure that they uh, are conducting properly. All right, so here's a page out of the electrical book for the miscellaneous relay panel. And this is that panel that we're dealing with up inside the jet. So where I was just poking the camera earlier and we're messing around with the meter. So this panel right here, and this is a head-on shot of it. So you got several different relays and this one right here in the top, top forward corner is the one that we're dealing with. And that's not the one that we're... There's two types based on this. See, we got DC essential bus relay here and essential bus relay there. So you got two types. It's not this one that we have. It's actually this one. So these two little terminals down here is where I metered earlier for the coil. That is the AC power that comes in that mechanically will close the relay. And then you got three sets of contacts. So one, two, and three that go to a matching set on the opposite side. So those are all open, which is fine. And then the AC contacts are right here at the bottom. So we put, so what we're gonna do is disconnect the wiring off of them as it sits in the jet. And then we're going to take power from the bench and make a wire harness and bring it all the way up and power it directly off the bench and isolate the AC side of this completely from the jet and at the same time since the battery is not turned on so there's no DC essential power and obviously the transformer rectifiers are down here so the neither DC bus will get power we can it's essentially bench testing it in place instead of pulling it and bringing it down here so we'll put AC power on it see if it closes so we should feel it we should mechanically feel it close and then we can meter from side to side and make sure all the contacts are good if if it doesn't close and or that we have a couple of bad contacts then um, we got a bad relay and then it's four bolts to take it out and change it that part doesn't look like fun if we have to pull this out 
is you got eight wires plus four bolts yeah, and it's that's, that's, that's you guys saw earlier it's in, the most inconvenient looking plate why did they put that there i will never know why they put certain things in certain places but anyway i digress anyway so that's what we got so let's uh let's make up a wire harness those ones pivot these ones don't now we can push That'll actually work perfect right there. All right, in order to have enough slack with the wires that we got to power that relay, we had to move the bench to get the uh, terminals close enough. So that's gonna be next week's task because it's getting really close to launch time for us. But and more importantly, we got some unfinished business with you guys. So give me a second, guys. All right, guys, we got the shoe box of fun. And for the drawing, we had 378 entries, so everyone got put on equal size slips of paper that were all folded the exact same way and thrown in the box. So, without further ado, let's do our drawing. All right, and to here to help us with this, we have Crew Chief Al, who's going to draw our six winners, who is originally gonna be one, but thanks to Heat Blur, we have five additional F4s to give away. You ready for this, buddy? Sure am. All right. So reach on in there and pull, pull us one. I'll shake it between each. Uh, what do we got first? We'll need to set them to the side so I can reach out to them by email. So if your name gets pulled, I will reach out to you by email and get this uh, coordinated. So we have Caro 2008. Caro 2008, and I will I'll, I'll subtitle this so we can see who the winners are. Awesome! So there's winner number one. Congratulations! Everybody needs a phantom. <laughs> Phantoms forever. Phantoms forever. All the screenshots and videos that they've put out lately, and I think they're doing a hell of a job. Who we got next? Blondie, the crimson. Uh, <laughs> <STK art. laughs> yeah, we're probably not gonna read that one. Uh, uh, we get the message. <laughs> yes. So, alrighty. Winner number two. Blondie. Hmm. All right. I'll try right in there. Who's up next? The eph ephemeral burn. Sweet. Yeah. Ooh, congrats. Right. Oops, one, two, one. Too many. Too many. Freeze frame, one seventy five. Sweet, congrats. Congratulations. Let's see, that's four. Two bucks of fun. The fantastic shoebox of foam. Oh, that would have been better on this thing. Let's go over in one of these corners here. Let's see right here. Who do we got? Who's For lucky number, number five. five or five? Garrett Self. Nice, congrats. And for number six. Ready? And for the final one, drum roll. Who do we it got? is me. No, I'm the <laughs> Dial Dylan Dylan M2000. Congrats! Congratulations to all of you. Yes. So, like uh, as I mentioned before, I will reach out to all six of you guys by email so we can get this squared away. And uh, if you don't see anything from me for those six, be sure to check your junk folders uh, just to make sure that uh, it goes through. If not, uh, if we can't get this, might have to pull another winner. So I'll hang on to this for another week and make sure that these six can get their prizes. So big thank you again to Heatler for the five additional F4s to the giveaway. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have as much fun with uh, those phantoms as I've had with the real one. Yeah, it, uh, it, yeah it's it's fun some days yeah and not fun other days well just remember you know it's fun all the time <laughs> <laughs> yes so again
Thank you, Al, for helping with this. Quite welcome, and I hope you all enjoy it. Yes, I sure we will. I'm so looking forward to the release of this thing. So with that, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time, and congrats again to all the winners. Well, see you around in the sky. <laughs>